The Invisible Man by H. G. Wells. Today we are going to do chapter number 11 and it is like an extension of the earlier chapter, chapter 10 in the coach and horses and coach and horses is the name of the inn and what happens we have to see before that we have a list of characters Cus the medical practitioner you remember him of course we have done a complete chapter on him uh, Bunting the vicar we have already heard about Bunting we have again done a chapter on him and the invisible man so uh, we will first discuss before we begin with chapter number 11 I have already told you and I repeat there are three angles uh, through which this one episode is seen and the first angle we have done in chapter number 10 it is like an outside view from the eyes of Huxter that was one we have already done this the second we are going to do now in chapter number 11 it is like an inside view and it is from the eyes of the narrator who is uh, the author the narrator who is telling us whatever happens inside and there is a third which is going to be in chapter number 12 so right now we are going to see what happens inside and um, if you remember when marvel had entered the village he had gone to the inn and he had entered the bar of the inn and then Through the yard, he had entered the parlor of the inn and then he had come out with a blue bundle and three books. After which Huckster had shouted thief and he had started running after him because he considered him to be a thief who, had, who was stealing from the parlor of the inn. In this chapter, we just take a little rewind, we take a little reverse view and see when Huckster had entered the parlor, what had happened inside the parlor. So, our chapter number 11 will take us to the parlor again. So, in the parlor, Marvel, uh, knocks on the door and enters but do you think he has entered alone no he has entered along with the invisible man whose work he has come to do right now into the parlor so he enters and whom do they find there they find cuss and punting sitting and going through they find him uh, them going through the books of the invisible man so uh, the parlor is not empty but two people are there and they are going through the books of the invisible man what books would they be if you could guess uh, what was he doing in the parlor all these months the invisible man was conducting his experiments and so of course these books contain the details of his experiments or, and the language would be um, you know uh, scientific it, they are scientific books and cousin bunting are trying to decipher they are trying to understand what is written in them 
if you remember cus is a medical practitioner he is a doctor and he thinks he has so much scientific knowledge that maybe he would understand what experiments were going on in the parlor and they are both you know very deeply interested in these books and they just tell the stranger and who is the stranger they tell marvel to go out they think that you know this stranger has wrongly entered the room and they just tell him to go out uh, but they do not realize that the invisible man has come back what do you think would be reaction the reaction of the invisible man after he sees his books being studied by these two fools according to him the invisible man is very angry at the two fools he considers these villagers as fools he he is very angry at the two fools uh, looking into his work i hope you would know and you would uh, or realize that they don't understand anything what is written and yet they consider themselves to be very intelligent and this man is furious the invisible man is completely furious what he does he grabs their neck he grabs the necks of both of these two men and bangs their head on the table so on the very table at which they are sitting and studying you know they can feel an invisible force grabbing their neck and then banging their head on the table and they immediately realize the presence this time they have no doubt that it is the presence of the invisible